Well, gang, we found a town. Maybe we can stop for a snack. Yeah, Rex. Like, what a dump. Uh, I'm not sure there's going to be a hot dog stand around here, guys. According to this map, Los Burritos is a ghost town. Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> not real ghost, guys. Velma just means the town is deserted. Like, we knew that. We were just... Oh, uh, Velma. Like, what sort of sound would a ghost make if it did live in this town? Good question, Shaggy. Let's find out where that moaning is coming from. We've got to find out where that moaning is coming from. Which way should we go? Like, forget it. I'm not going over there. Not even for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Let's keep exploring. We're sure to find something. Like the moaning is really getting louder. That means we're on the right track. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Yikes! Looks like we found out where the moaning's coming from. Come on, let's try and help it. I'm going to take off his gag. There you go. Thank you. Now find the keys to unlock me. They're somewhere in this room. Like, hey, it looks like one of those old player pianos. I wonder if it works. Good job. We found one. A key. Jinkies, it's one of the keys. Thank goodness you've come. Those chains were beginning to chafe. And who are you, delightful young people? I'm Fred. And this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo! I'm Artifact, Professor of Archaeology. My students and I have been excavating this old ghost town. I was working here in the saloon when someone grabbed me from behind and tied me up. It's a good thing we came along. Where are your students? Most of them have been chased away by the Faceless Rider. The Faceless Rider? Zoinks! You see, Los Burritos used to be a famous outlaw town. Everyone from James Jester to the El Cito Bandito used to make a home here. Now my students are convinced that their ghosts are haunting this town. I don't blame them for feeling that way. The Faceless Rider is quite a spectacle as he sits atop his horse, cloak blowing in the wind. Jinkies, that sounds just like the rider we saw coming into town. Like I told you it was a ghost. Ghost or not, we're getting to the bottom of this. Take a look at this. I found it at the old cemetery. Thanks. That could come in handy. We'll take it along. Suspects include... These are lifts to make a horse look taller. Are there any short horses around here? Pies. Delicious pies. Yummy. <laughs> like pie in the sky. Look out. Uh-oh. It looks like there's going to be a pie fight. Jinkies, showdown at Pie Noon. Like, look out, Scoob! We should see what's upstairs. Let's split up. You guys stay here. We'll be right back. Okay. Why would a ghost be haunting this old town? This was a big hideout for old-time outlaws. But I wonder... Wonder what? If there isn't a brand new outlaw in this town. Ah! Let's check out the view. It's the faceless rider. He's digging out there. We've got to find a way out to the graveyard. That grave might have an important clue. Hey. 
found a nickel. Great! Hold on to it. I think we'll need it. Here you go, Scoob. Give that bull the ride of its life. <laughs> Scoob? Scooby-Doo! To see a ghost. Huh? My gosh! It's Gummy! Like, what do you know? We were right! Dag nabbit! How'd you meddlesome kids figure that out? Actually, it was Dolores the donkey that showed us the way. The donkey? Yeah! She must have dropped a bell while she was disguised. And those horseshoe lifts made her taller, tall enough to be the faceless rider's horse. Officer Wyatt, I'm glad you got our call. Glad to help, kids. This must be our gold thief. He sure is. And he's our ghost, too. Ghost who? It turns out the old brick and the wall gang lived up to its name. They hid their gold in the walls of the post office, disguised as ordinary bricks. Our thief here was taking the walls apart to steal the gold and hiding it on Boot Hill. Come on, fella. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Dagnabbers and hollywinkers. I was rich. I was gonna be richer than a rabbit with a carrot farm. And Dolores would have been covered in diamonds and furs. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I think your donkey would have preferred oats. You don't need diamonds in jail. Well, if that don't beat all. For once, there would have been gold in them nar heels, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddlesome kids. Well, gang, looks like our work here is done. I feel pretty good. <laughs> Me too. How about you, Shaggy? Oh, sure. It's great. We're in the middle of the desert with no gold and no food. Run, run, we. What's that? It sounds like the Faceless Rider. It can't be! It's getting louder! I've heard that sound before. It's Scooby's stomach. Like, he's hungry. <laughs> I hear there's a great pancake house in El Seco. Let's roll! Scooby-Doo! 